Hello friends, in my this particular video, I am going to discuss downsampling in MATLAB. Okay, very simple code, just you need to know the theory. If you know the theory, you can simply implement using your own logic, no issue in that. Okay, so what you need to know, suppose x of n, from x of n I want to get x of 2n, then I will keep only those uh, uh, index positions corresponding to time sample who, which are basically multiple of 2, right? That's what the simple logic is. So here is the code, CLC clear all, close all. If you want, you can write warning or, or otherwise you can ignore. Then A n equal to input enter the time sample range. X equal to input enter the amplitudes, okay? I am taking the time sample range, that is index positions of time, discrete time, and the amplitudes corresponding to those discrete times, okay? A equal to input enter the scaling factor, okay? Uh, x of 2 if uh, from x of n I want to convert to x of 2 n then the scaling factor should be 2 like that Okay, e equal to 1 empty matrix. I am storing what I will store um, E equal to 1 empty matrix. I am defining here what I will store here I will store basically the index position and corresponding uh, amplitude of that particular uh, sequence or signal uh, like one key value pair, okay? So 10 p equal to 1 I am defining here and for i equal to 1 colon length of n I am traversing in our in time sample range and e equal to e semicolon n of temp x of temp. So I am making one key value pair of index and amplitude and here we can see I am going to next line after one particular iteration. So that I have given here semicolon okay then temp p equal to temp plus 1 okay for next iteration I have to increase the index positions. All right. Now, after we have made this particular key value pair as time index and amplitude. Now, I told you I require only those index positions which are basically multiple of the scaling factor in case of uh, downsampling or in case of time compression. Right. I hope you know this much basics of uh, digital signal processing in theory. Now, I am creating Z matrix which will store that uh, pair only for which time sample range is basically. Uh, uh, multiple of this particular scaling factor so for i equal to 1 colon length of e if remainder of e of i comma 1 comma a equal to equal to 0 then in that case if this condition is satisfied then in that case we are storing that key value pair in z matrix point to be noted here e of i comma 1 comma a equal to 0 why i have written because in the first column our time index positions are stored so that we have to take so e of i comma 1 indicating first column elements and if this remainder is 0 i am storing the whole row i comma colon in the z matrix all right so after that in uh, the first column of the z matrix our index position is stored and in the second column our amplitude is stored so that i am taking it separately index and amplitude in amplitude we no need to do further operation but in index position we need to do further operation why like for example if i show you uh, if i run this particular part of the code suppose time sample range i am defining from minus 2 to 3 and amplitude i am taking 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 and then suppose let me take 1 Okay, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 6 index, 1, 2, 5, and one more, let me take 3. Okay, if I click enter, enter the scaling factor. Scaling factor, let me give 2, and if I click enter, see our index and amplitude we got here in this index and amplitude variable, right? So, what I can do, I can now write same index, comma, amplitude. If I write and click enter, See the problem is we are getting proper wave from that is uh, amplitudes are basically 2, 4 and 1 which are correct. But see the index position minus 2 and 2 it should be shifted to minus 1 and 1. This is not happening now. So for that we have to write some more code for index positions. What I have written here I am finding the index for, uh, for which index is greater than equal to 0. Okay then temp equal to 0 and for all those values where index greater than equal to 0 I am replacing like 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on using the temp variable. So for i equal to 1 colon length of rs index of rs of i equal to temp and then temp equal to temp plus 1 and end the for loop. That's all. 
now this is this will take care of the positive part but the negative part also has to be taken care of so for that i have written this particular code gs equal to find index equal to equal to 0 and from gs minus 1 to decrement of minus 1 i will go to index position 1 and here i will replace by negative values of 10 that is minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so temp equal to minus 1 index of i equal to temp temp equal to temp minus 1 simple right stem index comma amplitude that's all simple code for uh, uh, down sampling suppose let me give now the time sample range is minus 2 to 3 and uh, amplitudes are 2 3 4 uh, 5 1 3 and if i give 2 then see this is our actual waveform you can try with theoretical approach also at minus 1 we should get the amplitude 2 at 0 we should get the amplitude 4 and at index position 1 we should get amplitude as 1 okay so this is whatever the code for uh, down sampling in MATLAB okay without using inbuilt function there is inbuilt function also available but try to solve with without using inbuilt function then your programming skill and logical skill will be developed okay and you can solve some unknown uh, problem which you are in uh, uh, getting first time okay so this is all for my this video i am going to post the same code in the description box or in the comment section kindly check that if you have any doubt and for further doubt clarification please ask in the comment section i will clear, clear your doubt thank you